Types of sourcing in recruitment. When it comes to recruiting top talent, the sourcing strategy you choose can significantly impact your hiring effort success. From basic provider model to equity partnership, several different sourcing models are available to recruiters. In this episode, we will talk about the various types of sourcing in recruitment. For more episodes, please subscribe and like our channel and press the bell icon for notifications. There are types of sourcing in recruitment model, and each model has its own advantages and disadvantages. And choosing the right one for your organization requires a thorough understanding of the options available. Let's take a closer look at various sourcing and recruitment models and how they can effectively recruit top talent for your organization. So what is sourcing and recruitment? Sourcing and recruitment is the process of identifying, attracting, and finding potential job candidates through various models such as job posting, employee referrals, recruitment agencies, social media, college recruiting, and job fairs. It is a crucial step in the recruitment process as it helps build a pool of qualified candidates for the organization. Sourcing can be done internally by searching within the organization for suitable candidates or externally by searching outside the organization for potential candidates who match job requirements and qualifications. It's to find the right fit for the job and the organization, and it often involves a combination of different strategies and techniques to find the best candidate. Types of sourcing in recruitment. Several types of sourcing can be used in recruitment. Some of the most common types of sourcing include insourcing. This type of sourcing in recruitment involves delegating a job to someone or a team within the company. Many company leaders prefer this option when available, as it is a cost-saving strategy and allows for monitoring the quality for goods and services required. Outsourcing. This refers to hiring a third party outside the company to perform services to produce goods previously done in-house. This can be done through migration operations abroad or partnering with a domestic supplier. Both back and front office functions can be outsourced. Recruitment agency sourcing. Using recruitment agencies to find and attract potential candidates, they have a pool of pre-screened candidates and have a knowledge of the industry. Low-cost country sourcing. This involves sourcing material from the countries with lower labor and production costs intending to reduce overall operating expenses. China and India are very popular choice for this type of sourcing. Near sourcing, this involves placing some of your operations close to where your end products are sold, allowing for better control and faster delivery. Global sourcing, this method involves buying goods and services from international markets across geographical boundaries. This approach provides access to different markets, new skills and resources that may not be readily available in your country, and insight into how business is contacted worldwide. Different sourcing business models. Sourcing business models are different ways of a company to control and handle the economics of their supply source relationships. The basic provider model is used with the primary goal to produce goods and services at the lowest possible cost. The preferred provider model offers value-added capabilities or volume discounts with a set supplier usually due to a longer contract. The approved provider model is used when a company wants to take advantage of high volume discounts with supplier with a proven track record. The performance-based managed service model relies on the supplier to drive efficiency and deliver predefined service levels. It allows for a longer contract as the supplier benefits as long as they sustain the quality of the goods or services. The vested business model is a collaborative model that requires both sides to ensure that they are committed to the success of the other. And these relationships 
intend to last over 10 years, optimizing innovation and risk management. The shared services model is an investment based on model developed by companies that want to create their own internal supplier. Benefits of sourcing and recruitment. There are several benefits to using sourcing and recruitment, some of which include the following. Increased candidate pool sourcing allows organizations to tap into a wider pool of potential candidates beyond just those who have actively applied for a job or those in the company's immediate network. This increases the chances of finding the, the best fit for the job and also allows for more diverse candidate pool. Tailored to specific needs. Sourcing can be tailored to specific job requirements, such as skills, experience, and qualifications. This allows for a more targeted and efficient recruitment process and the organization can focus on candidates who are the best fit for the job. Cost-effective. Sourcing can be a cost-effective way of recruiting as it reduces the need to spend money on job boards, recruitment agencies, and other recruitment costs. Additionally, by sourcing candidates directly, organizations can save the fees associated with recruiting agencies. Time saving. Sourcing can save much time in recruitment as it automates the initial stage of candidate screening and shortlisting. This allows recruiters to focus on the most important aspects for the recruitment process, interviewing and evaluating candidates. Improved candidate experience. Sourcing can also improve the candidate experience, allowing candidates to learn more about the company and the job before applying. This allows them to make an informed decision about whether the job is the right fit for them or not. So let's ask this question, how to source employees in recruitment? Sourcing employees is an important step in the recruitment process, and there are various ways to go about it. One effective method is to follow the lead of the recruiting manager and check with them frequently to ensure that you are all on the same page regarding the qualifications of a good candidate. This helps ensure that you target that you target the right candidates for the job. Traditional recruitment strategies. It is also important to consider incorporating traditional recruitment strategies. This includes attending in-person gatherings such as industry conferences and events and organize your own meetup sometimes. These events can be a great way to meet potential candidates in person and increase their chance of responding to your follow-up messages. Online sourcing. Another important strategy is to spread out the word to where you look for potential employees online. While popular candidate sourcing strategies such as LinkedIn and Indeed are effective, it is an important to diversify your approaches and look for candidates on less conventional websites. This can help to provide unique information for tailored outreach and increase the chances of finding the right candidate. Connect with your current staff. Another effective strategy is to tap into the connection of your current staff members by holding candidate sourcing meetings with your team. You can tap into their professional networks and access to a wider pool of qualified candidates. Proactive sourcing. Proactive sourcing is also important, which means finding qualified people to fill positions that are not currently vacant. Creating personas is a good first step in the process, as it helps to identify the skills and qualifications you will need in the future. Conclusion. Sourcing in recruitment is an essential aspect of recruitment and provides several benefits for the organization and provides several benefits for organizations. With the right types of sourcing in recruitment strategies and techniques, organizations can find the best candidates for the job and improve their quality of hires. That's all for today's episode. If you have any question about this episode, please feel free to write it in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and give this episode a thumbs up. It will help the algorithm to promote our channel. Thank you for listening and I will see you in the next episode. Oh,